Assalamualaikum and hello again everyone on YouTube. Um, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'll be doing another unboxing. Today I'll be unboxing this Sapphire R9 280X from AMD. It has been released quite a while ago. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, if it um, maybe last year, and um, this sports. Uh, a GCN architecture that will support Mantle in the near future because I don't know when they will be updating the Mantle support. Um, I'll be doing some benchmarking on this graphic card. Some uh, well, I've already shown you the gaming uh, on my previous video, which is the Battlefield Four. So uh, yeah. So let's just get started at unboxing this uh, graphic card and let you guys have a look. All right. Yeah. So yeah, here we have the box. Um, as you can see here, it's a it has three gigabytes or three gigs of DDR5. It's already overclocked from Sapphire. It has a triple fan setting and um, it's GCN architecture. So. It will support the mental update, mental API update soon. Um, it's UF, UEFI com compatible and um, it's the toxic version from the Sapphire team. People at Sapphire, I mean. <laughs> so, right at the back here, we have information uh, which we don't really read when we have already bought this. Uh, you can read it yourself. Right here, I'm sure you can see the large, the large text here. Um, so yeah, we'll get right to the unboxing. Yeah, it's a bit, there. You go. There's nothing else in the box except this one, and uh, I'll take this one out. There you go, here's the graphic card. And I'm not gonna show you this first. I'm gonna show you something else. And foam. Oh yeah, uh, I just wanna say that um, Sapphire does not pack their hardware like Asus does because, well, Asus has all those fancy things with, with the Asus writing and, and, and everything. It, look, it looks pretty, uh, but this one is uh, from Sapphire. It's not as pretty, but it is practical. You can, as you can see, the foam packaging. And what we have right here. Let's just close this one. Close this one first. Oops, sorry. Um. Yeah. So I have here. Here's the HDMI cable. The HDMI to micro HDMI adapter. And Molex to 8 pin converter. The Crossfire Bridge. Here you go. And uh, oh yeah, the driver installation CD. If if you don't have an internet connection at the moment, you can use this CD. But if you do, I would recommend you to go to the website or the AMD website straight away and download the driver directly from them. This is something that I don't know. Product manual or. A quick installation guide and the uh, registration instructions for your product so we are done with the accessories and now we'll move on to the hardware itself it says here you must connect this graphics board to the computer's power supply I have to say for um, Experience users, that's pretty obvious. 
isn't it? So, yeah. I did say for experience, not beginners. So, here we go. It is a pretty heavy graphic card, you want to consider. Um, there you go. It looks a bit like a toy. But if you consider that Asus has their um, gold bill coming on, so this might go well with the gold build. And um, it has three fans. Um, it has its own unique heat sink there, copper contact and everything. And uh, this, I think, may be a reset button, if I'm not mistaken. This and this is the crossfire. You can it can support up to, I guess, four way, because one, two there. And um, you have right here is the um, eight pin two eight pin connectors and. Um, here this is what I love about this card not all cards have this I love this in particular because they have this back plate it just helps with the stabilization of the graphic card as it is already a big graphic card and it helps with the overall look it's black and and um, sapphire has um, gone with black PCB it goes well with the overall look. Straightens sapphire right here. Uh, oh yeah, the connectors, the ports. Okay. I have to be careful with this. I mean, it's big and it's heavy. It's got DVI, VGA, um, HDMI and micro HDMI. Mini HDMI. I'm not, I'm not really great at the names of things, but I know, I know stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, and the sapphire engraving right here. It lights up when it's connected. So I like that very much. Um, all those small things that really draw me to this card. I mean, the backplate, the the lighting on the name, and yeah. So there you have it, that's, that's the uh, graphic card itself. Hey everyone, um, um, before I forget, um, I actually wanted to do um, a comparison be of sizes because this graphic card is actually long, it's like, you can see the, 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 the shroud here overlaps the um, the graphics card itself which is longer about right this much and so for the comparison I'm just going to use this Blackberry right here and you can see how much does it compare how big does it compare to this Blackberry um, so yeah it's got like one two three I don't, I don't really know how to compare this stuff so that's about as much as good as I can get Hey everyone, and uh, I just wanted to show you that um, this is the graphic card connected to my PC and you see the sapphire right there, it lights up, I just love that and 
I'm using a Bit Phoenix Colossus window, but I have the side panel off so you guys can see how big the graphic card is. You can see here that this is my drive bay and this is the graphic card. There's little room right there for for um, for space, I mean. So you guys can actually see how big and I repeat how big this graphic card is. And I know that my PC is loud. Deal with it. Cause I'm I don't have the budget to buy other fans that are quiet and shit. Right, so that's it for my video of this review and unboxing of this Sapphire R9 280X Toxic. Um, like the video if you like it. Dislike if you the video if you disliked it and you can comment comment on the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing more videos uh, in the future uh, more hardware reviews more uh, um, uh, more gameplays uh, better gameplays and uh, thank you for watching Era of the Geeks.